Hey guys, this is Hot Noob here, and I'm just going to play this intro clip here because uh, I'm too lazy to edit it in. Alright, now that that's done, um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, use HTML injections to pretty much modify the pages or whatever, deface them, whatever you want. Now uh, you should know that HTML injections are pretty rare to do. You're usually um, not going to find a site that can uh, or that is vulnerable to HTML injections. So I'm just going to show you guys how to do it, how it works, whatever. Um, here's a site that is vulnerable to HTML injections. I'm just going to log in here so I can make a post. So um, a lot of IGG.com's um, sections, most of the time usually around the general section or the general speaking, they allow for HTML code and then you can pull off an HTML injection. So I'm just going to call this um, example thread here. And I'm doing it on uh, this form specifically because it's not that uh, popular. So as you can see here it says HTML enabled. right? So how HTML injections work is pretty much insert some code, right, um, style, where you can go like body, um, display, none. And this will make the page blank the next time when it loads. So I'm just going to open up here. Um, actually, I just... Crap. I, okay, I just closed Chrome. I hate when that happens. Um, I'm just going to go back there. <coughs> anyway, I'm just going to show you guys a basic injection here. I'm just going to change like the background of the page or whatever. So you're going to go... Um, I'm just going to open up the style tags, right? And go um, body background color white right and now you submit it and poof the background color of the page is white pretty much or the body is at least so that's pretty much how um, HTML injections work you can do more uh, advanced stuff like that's just the style sheets and you can use uh, scripts to change the page right you can say document dot body dot style um, dot background color equals white right and then you can also um, do stuff like alerts right and say hello world right so uh, let's say you want to deface a page there's a couple ways of doing this uh, I'm just gonna save this here so I can continue to edit if I continue if I um, you know, screw up the page or whatever. Anyway, um, to do the deface page, there are several ways of doing it. You can um, literally embed the code into the post. Unfortunately, there are um, post character limits, so it may not always be that easy to do. Another way is to do an iframe or whatever. Um, I, you can also redirect, so you can go like window.location equals um, google.ca, right? or dot com whatever right and you go enter right hello world and then poof you're at google right um, there's other ways of doing it um, for an iframe this takes a bit more skill but you just um, go like iframe green equals google.ca right and you say um, width equals whatever 100% height equals 100% then iframe now um, iframes are a bit more difficult because you need JavaScript code to um, help maintain it for the most most of the time anyway let's to cover the entire page it's pretty easy to do um, just say like style uh, Sorry, let me. <laughs> I, I just like blanked out there. 
Anyway, you just go um, style um, z index or sorry position, and you set it to absolute. And you go left zero px, so zero pixels, and then top zero pixels, right? And uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of style things to do, and you can change the z index to um, like a thousand whatever. So it's harder for them to block you. And then uh, for the style, because you don't want them to be able to scroll away, like, you could actually just probably give this a ridiculously high number for the actual size, and you go just change the, um, the body to have no overload. So, overload, sorry, overflow, and then it's like none. I believe, or something like that. Right, hello world. Okay, that, that didn't work as well as I wanted to. But, uh, I probably made a typo. There we go, so, you know, right, there's all sorts of ways to do it, like, if you're having a deface page, chances are you don't need the, you don't, don't need the scroll bars, you're not going to have it screw up like this, I'm just going to forward this to my deface page here, so, um, um, test, edit, And there you go, you got your deface page here. It's a bit screwed up because I didn't use the good method with the whole iframe here. So uh, in theory though, because of browser compatibility, 100, putting 100% no, won't necessarily work. But as you can see, uh, here you go. It works somewhat in the uh, Google Chrome, but that body overflow needs to be fixed. I'm just gonna Google it. <laughs> hidden. Sorry, it wasn't none. It was hidden. See, I can never remember these things, so. Uh, if I don't uh, make websites or handle HTML or whatever for a long time, I just forget all this shit. And I have no oh wait, wait, there we go. There you go, that was the problem. So anyway, now you got your nice defa deface page here showing up. Just deface some random topic on a forum. And that's pretty much it to uh, all there is to HTML injections. You can do this on forums, blogs, anywhere where you can upload any data, where they um, don't fars out for uh, HTML and stuff like that. I'm just going to turn volume down here. Okay, so hopefully you understood the stuff while the music was playing. I'm not quite sure. Whatever. So I'm just going to repeat it quickly. Um, you can do this to forums, blogs, and pretty much just whatever where you can upload your own H your own uh, HTML and where it's not farsed out. Um, when someone doesn't uh, fars out the uploaded content for HTML code, stuff like this can happen, and now the computer's lagging like crazy. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions or whatever, just make a comment on my blog and. Um, I'll see you guys later, if I can find that stop button. Okay, see you guys later.